round of hearings regarding Vermont's Department for Children and Families. Good evening, everyone. I'm Stephanie Gorin. And I'm George Mallet. From St. Johnsbury to Montpelier, legislators today heard painful stories about violence, drugs, and the children caught in the middle. WPTZ's David Charnes is back from Montpelier tonight and joins us now live in the newsroom. David. And George, over the past week, nine hearings in all, we've heard frustrations about the Department for Children and Families from those familiar with the system. Tonight, for the first time, we're hearing the committee investigating the agency at the center of this review is frustrated, too. State lawmakers familiar with sitting on legislative committees say they usually get a courtesy call from the people they're looking into. If something really goes awry in state government that's, it, that's in your area of jurisdiction, usually the commissioner or the secretary calls you up and says, these things happened, we're not talking about these things, we don't know this, we do know that, and I'm sure someone of the member of the press is going to call you. They tell us they're still waiting. Representatives say they haven't heard from DCF about whether or not a St. Johnsbury toddler was in the system when he died. State Senator Dick Sears co-chairs the committee. He says sources have told him the child was involved with DCF. Now others on the panel say they might subpoena state leaders to get information. We don't know the facts. We don't need to know the detail, details of every case. But we need to be able to understand that what we hear is the whole, the whole truth and um, that, that nothing's held back. The comments came before the final hearing about what's working and what's not at the state agency. I feel that the Humane Society actually puts more time in researching a pet owner than the courts or DCF put into being a parent. Those testifying Tuesday say children in the hands of DCF are the state's most vulnerable. Our children are valuable resources, and if we don't take care of them, then we're losing the, the resource that is going to move us forward. Now that all the hearings are complete, the committee is looking to hear from DCF officials. They also say they heard that multiple DCF workers and foster parents were concerned about backlash or retaliation if they spoke at these hearings, so they hope to meet with them privately. The committee is looking to present some sort of legislation at the beginning of next year. Live in the newsroom tonight, I'm David Charns, WPTZ News Channel 5.